hey guys so today we are going to study springs so first of all uh, what is the definition of a spring so as we know the diagram of spring this is a free body diagram which we generally use that is of spring now if I draw it in three a two D or three D diagram, we know that it is in such a way. So there are various coils. So spring is it defined as an elastic body whose function is to distort when loaded. So, whose function is to distort when loaded. So, if there is a load attached to it, so it will expand and to recover its original shape when load is removed. So, if this load is removed, so it will recover its original shape. So, what are the various applications for the spring? So, it is, uh, it helps. So, it helps in cushion. It helps in cushioning or absorbing or controlling the energy due to either shock or vibration as in car, springs, railway buffers, aircraft landing, uh, landing gear, shock absorbers and vibration dampers. Second is to apply forces as in brakes, clutches and springs. First is cushioning, second is to apply forces. Third is to control motion by maintaining contact between two elements as in cam and follower. So to uh, control motion. Fourth is to measure forces as in spring balances and engine indicators. So to measure forces. And fifth is to store energy. Fifth is to store energy. So these are the various, uh, various applications used for springs. Now we will see uh, various types of spring. So uh, though there are many types of springs, yet uh, we have defined or we have classified the springs according to their shape which are important for uh, our subject point of view so first so first is helical spring so helical springs are made up of wire coiled in the form of a helix and is primarily intended for compressive or tensile loads the cross section of the wire from which the spring is made may be circular, square, or rectangle. And the forms of the helical spring are compression helical spring. So I will draw suppose this is the center line of the spring, and this are the coils. So I'll just draw first So this is the helical spring, this is a compression helical spring. Now uh, for tens tensile helical spring, the diagram will be, so 
सो दिस इज टेंशन हेलिकल स्प्रे This is tension helical spring, tension, and this is compression. So the helical spring are said to be closely coiled. When the spring wire is coiled, are so close, so uh, so that the play plane containing each turn turn is nearly a right angle to the axis of the helix, and the wire is subjected. to torsion so in other words uh, in a closely coiled helical spring the helix angle is very small and it is usually less than 10 degree and the major stresses produced in helical springs are shear stresses due to twisting and the load applied is parallel or along the axis of the spring in open coiled helical spring uh so this was for cold closely coiled uh helical spring and in open coiled helical spring the spring wire is coiled in such a way that there is a gap between the two consecutive term so so there is very gap between this two consecutive term and here you can see the, there is no gap so two consecutive term as a result of which the helix is very large hence the application of uh, open coil helical springs are limited therefore our discussion shall closely uh, confined to closely coiled helical springs only and the helical springs have various advantages like easy to manufacture available in wide range a reliable constant spring rate and their performance can be predicted more accurately and their characteristics we can be varied by changing the dimension so this is the helical spring second is conical or volute spring conical and volute springs so the conical and volute springs i will draw the diagram sorry first let me draw the center line so this is this is the conical spring and volute will be the same just uh just the instead of triangle here there will be a volute so this is the volute so this is volute So this volute spring, this conical, and this volute. So, are used in a special applications where these are used. So in general life application, uh, we have not seen this spring. Generally, we have seen helical spring. So these are used in various special applications where telescopic spring, or spring with the spring rate. that increases with load is desired so is bound with uniform pitch whereas the volute springs uh, here this is shown this conical spring is bound in a uniform pitch so where wound in a form of paraboloid so this is a parabola paraboloid with constant pitch then 
next is so this spring may be made either uh, partially or completely telescopic in either case the number of active coils gradually decreases and a decreasing number of coils results in an increasing spring rate and this exercise is sometimes realized in vibration problem where springs are used to support body that is varying mass and the major stresses produced in conical or volute spring are also shear stress due to twisting and third type is torsion spring so this spring uh, this springs may be helical or spiral so i will draw the spring so please consider this is a circle I cannot draw a perfect circle, so please consider this a circle only. So this is helical torsion spring. So this is the front view. And uh, spirals for a spiral spr uh, spring. So this is the center line for spiral spring I will draw for center line So this is the spiral spring. So if I want to end, so it will end here. So if this I will rub. Oh. -ho. So this this I will rub. So this springs may be helical or spiral in type. And the helical may be used only in applications where load tends to wind up. This so load tends to wind up the spring are used in various electrical mechanisms. And the spiral type is also used where the load tends to increase the number of coils when made for flat strip are used in watches and clocks. The major stresses produced in torsion and tensile and compressive due to bending fourth is laminated or leaf spring fourth is laminated or leaf spring so laminated let me draw So this is a laminated or a leaf spring. So this is very important spring generally used in automobiles like heavy vehicles like trucks or uh, also in cars. So laminated or leaf springs also known as flat spring or carriage spring consists of a number of flat plates known as leaves. So these are called leaves of varying length. 
so as you can see the length is in decreasing order from top to bottom and increasing order in from bottom to top held together by means of clamps and bolts so this is a clamp here this is a clamp and bolt so there are mostly used in automobiles so this is used in automobiles major stresses produced in leaf spring a tensile and compressive stresses then there are uh, other two types also like disc or bellable spring so let me draw So this is a disc or bellable spring. So this spring consists of a number of coils disc held together against the slipping by a central bolt. So here you can see a central bolt or a tube. So these springs are used in applications where high spring rates and a compact spring units are required. And the major stress produced in disc or bellable spring are tensile and compressive stresses. Then there are special then there are special purpose springs. These springs are liquid or air or liquid springs, rubber spring, ring spring, etc. And the fluids are air or liquid and can behave as a compression spring. And these springs are used for special types of applications only. So these are various types of spring. Now, what are the various materials? Uh, which are used in helical spring so materials of the spring should have high fatigue strength high ductility and high resilience and it should be creep resistant also so it largely depends upon the service for which they are used that is severe service average service or light service so for severe services means rapid continuous loading where the ratio of mini maximum to minimum load is one half or less as in automotive wall springs then average will be include the some stresses range in severe service but with only intermittent operations as in engine governor springs and automobile suspension springs and light service springs include springs subject to load that are static or very very frequent infrequently varied so these are various types of service so helical springs are either cold formed or hot formed depending upon the size of the wire and the wire size small size less than 10 mm in diameter so the springs are mostly made from oil tempered carbon steel wires containing 6 to 0.6 to 0.7 percent carbon and 0.6 to 1 percent manganese music wires uh, is used for small springs non ferrous materials like phosphor bronze beryllium copper monal metal brass etc be used in special cases to increase the fatigue resistance temperature resistance and corrosion resistance so this is the material of the spring now in the next uh, chapter we will see various loads on the spring and its uh, formulas so in today's lecture we have seen uh, spring application of spring uh, material spring and types of spring so i hope uh, you understood so let's uh, end this uh, let's end this lecture